，要伤心，为什么？幸好是一个 demo 啊，这这可以跟人家讲这个是哪个 demo？ 哈哈哈哈哈。And the title of this demo is other than ink, that's wash. And wash, I'm using six colors. So the six colors are here. This is my traveling palette, lah. So I have the six colors: your lemon yellow, um, the rose cream. Rose is like the red. Ultramarine is a blue color. Then there's Indian red and there's Prussian blue. So um, I will be mixing all these colors with um, with these six colors that I have here. Okay, these are my these are my yellow. These are my red. These are my blue. So normally, if you put them onto a color wheel, you know yellow and blue mix green, right? Mm. Then your purple is from red and blue, and orange is from yellow and red. So here I have shown how you can actually use two different yellow. And two different blue to make all these greens, and here are the how you make the different purple. So this is not exactly, but I would I would call it more a shadow color. So if you want a shadow, dark shadow, this is actually very dark. These two are quite dark. So you can make um a very dark mixture. Then you can make orange. So orange not so not so good lah. Maybe this one this is give you a better orange. But the rest are more like brick brick colors brown. This is more like a burnt sienna color. So you can you see like from these six colors you can actually. Come up with all these colors, and you don't have to bring your whole palette. I always start with a wet. Wet, wet. Yeah, wet and wet first. Come on, how come? I hope this is this is gonna be okay. Looks a bit not dumb enough. Yeah, not dumb enough. Wow, not so not wet enough. Yeah, use the wrong paper. Ah, I very scared now. Possibly your your paper slightly. Yeah, too thin already. Going to spoil already. Yeah. Tam Liao. The paper that I use for the demo is actually a quite a good brand, but because I have kept it for so long, sizing has degraded. And um, I have here two paper, um, from the same manufacturer. So this is the exact same one. Paper one is the exact same one that I I use for the demo. So this is um. This is paper two, the. The normal watercolor paper that is still within shelf life, so I'm just gonna spray. I actually use quite a lot of water. You can see from the surface here. You see that the water and the pigment just nicely spread out, and I can just add on a little bit more of. Color water and dilute that. So this is paper one where the sizing has expired. Can you see that it started to absorb water? And certain areas are looking blot, patchy. The water doesn't stay at the top; it just gets absorbed. I can't really mix it well. And there are all these spots around. Let's add in a little bit more water. And I can't really push out the pigment. Can you see this hard edge? That's not supposed to happen. And then, can you see that I can't really move any of these pigment elsewhere? And adding more water to it just makes it worse because can you see the hard edge? I can't even push it out. And if you notice, there are actually these blotches, these dots. So can you actually see that the water has actually seeped through even though you have the masking tape on? The normal paper which uh, is within expiry, which is, uh, look, Nice crisp edge and a uniform color. And we turn around to look at the back. There's nothing. Our expired paper. Oh, messy edge. All these blotches in the back. Please buy enough paper, but don't stock them for too long. Let's get on with the demo. This looks a bit patchy, but it's okay. 
life still goes on. You don't follow exactly how the shade, shadows and the colors actually. Yeah, not exactly because yeah. because it's small, so I don't think we don't ha we have to really follow to the T mm. lah. Unless you're doing a like a botanic art, mm. or if you're doing if it's very big and you want to make sure that you can tell. Okay, for us right, this is just trees right, mm. so it doesn't have to be. Like this tree, the yellow tree is in the middle, then there's one another green tree that is or, or another yeah. brown tree, you know that kind. So to me it's generally Yeah, generally green. So up to you. But you do need to know like maybe some parts, certain parts are like lighter than others. Are. Like for example, maybe this yeah. part here is lighter. Maybe the top. Usually for trees are the top of the trees are lighter than the bottom. What phone are you using for the paint? What pen? Brand, brand. Brand. Uh I use things like this one is from this one is from Daniel Smith. This is from Daniel Smith. This is Hobin. These two are Alpha. This Alpha watercolor. I think this one is also from Daniel Smith. So mixture lah. I think I mentioned previously that um, Shin Han and Hobin watercolor are good and cheap. Yeah, I see shadow. So, can you see the darker ones? I actually use the ink too. Yeah. Because they are always the darkest. <laughs> yeah. Unless you want a big area la. Unless you want a big area, then I will make I will make a big shadow color. But for me, I think I'll just I'm happy with a purple la. Yeah, with my purple there. Yeah. So you actually look at this part here and that. Is to let you know that you are actually standing closer to this part, mm. and then the area is further away. Mm. Yeah. Thanks for the explanation. What are your thoughts about using white paint with watercolor? Oh, uh, I I don't think it's a sin, na. If you want to use it, just use it. <laughs> not a sin, na. Uh, it's not a sin. Because like watercolor artists will tell you, well, we don't use uh, white. Yeah, but some people they, No, but some people will use that. Like say for example, you want to do pastel, right? Color. Okay. You can But if you are using it to cover up things, then then not so good lah. Uh, it comes with white. Uh, it comes with white. I normally take out the white. Yeah, we also don't use that. Yeah. That's why that's why the, the masking fluid is for la, is to preserve the white. Or else you can try to remember where the white is yeah. and not colour it. It's a good practice to try to leave out your white. Yeah. But if you make a mistake and you want to cover it up with white, mm -mm. you also can go. Can la, can la, but it's <laughs> urban sketching. It's not like yeah. watercolour yeah. society or something. Yeah. You just sketch and whatever gets yeah. the job done, gets the job done. And this time, 10 by 10 is also because it's part of 10th anniversary. Uh, USA, Singapore is uh, our 10th anniversary this year. We started uh, 2009. Uh, thanks to... Good time off, Buddha. Okay, 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 hi, 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 hi. No, no, hi, 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 guys, hi, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Alice uh, also has a channel on YouTube that you oh, can yeah. follow. Okay, she does review, she does her demonstration. I know, I do a lot of rubbish too. Kind of stuff. Yeah, a lot yeah. Of rubbish too. and rubbish too. <laughs> okay. I think rubbish is more fun. Good uh. rubbish, okay, one man's rubbish, hey, another man's treasure. Hey, hey. <laughs> She, do, she does food stuff, travel stuff also, yeah, yeah. so follow, okay, if you like. Alice Lim. Thanks, thanks. What do you call? <laughs> Eureka Wonders. Eureka yeah, Wonders, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. go and find out. Can you see me or not? Can, 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 can see can, you, can, right? Can, okay, can. everybody say 1, 2, 3, 10 by 10, okay? 1, 2, 3. 10 by 10!